Okay, so we all know how to get GPS overlay using the GPS remote and the GPS preview remote. What's that? Oh, you don't know how to do it. Oh, okay. So for those that don't know, all you have to do is press record using either one of the remotes, the camera starts recording and it begins logging the GPS data. Then in either their studio app on desktop or the Insta360 app on your phone, press the stats button and you can choose what you want to show, change color, sizes, fully customize the style of whatever you'd like shown. The GPS preview remote was a release alongside the Ace Pro and they work together so well. So from here, you can see exactly what you're shooting at very low latency. When you hit the record button at the top, you start recording, extremely fast connectivity. You can change all your settings, all your frame rates and everything. The GPS preview remote will become compatible with other Insta360 models in the near future. And the GPS remote is now compatible with the Ace Pro. So great, what if you have neither of these and you still want the GPS overlay with remote shooting? Today I'm gonna to walk you through the procedure step by step and show you how to do this with Garmin devices and the Apple Watch. So feel free to grab any of your devices and follow along. Before we start, this video is sponsored by Insta360. If you would like to purchase yourself an Ace Pro, use my link in the description below and you'll receive a battery for free or if you want to purchase yourself an Insta360 X3 using my link in the description below you'll receive the Moto Bundle kit for free. I receive a small kickback from each purchase made at no extra cost to you and it helps to support the channel so I thank you in advance. Let's get into it. Get your devices and follow along. Let's begin with the Apple Watch first. First download the Insta360 app for the Apple Watch. Then swipe down and navigate to the Bluetooth remote option and that'll automatically be discoverable. Open the app on your watch, tap the magnifying glass and choose the camera you'd like to connect. When you press record on the Apple Watch, it will use the GPS to record its data. Then once you're done, hit stop on the Apple Watch and everything is recorded. Now you can just import that straight into your app, into your phone and all the overlay will be there. It's almost acting exactly the same as a GPS remote. So we're just in standard photo mode here. You can choose all the different types of photos and then you swipe across and it takes you to the video and all the different types of video recording. You can choose the resolution that you want and you can choose the frame rates as well. And you can choose if you want to use the front lens only. And so we'll just change in there in the background and then you can choose all your different resolutions for that as well. That's it. That's the Apple Watch, out of the way, Dunskis, how good, so easy. Now the other way to record your GPS data is by using Garmin devices. Insta360 and Garmin have combined forces which extends to the entire range of Insta360 cameras, which is really cool. The Garmin devices supported are the ones that connect to the Garmin Connect app. I use the Garmin Zumo XT to navigate my expeditions and I was really hoping that that would connect to the Garmin Connect app, but it doesn't, unfortunately. That would have been super easy, just hit track, and then all your data and information has been recorded. I did, however, purchase myself the Garmin Phoenix 7 smartwatch as a little Christmas present to myself. I needed something that was gonna last more than one day. The Apple Watch doesn't last too long. This thing lasts like 26 days. It's so good, I absolutely love it. And what's better is that this connects to the Garmin Connect app. So you can log all your GPS data and pair it up. So let's get into that. I wanna show you how to do this. Although there is no dedicated Insta360 app for the Garmin devices at this point, I don't know if there's ever gonna be, which means there's no option for remote shooting. First, you wanna connect your Insta360 to your phone app just to sync the time and the date. The time and date needs to be precise on your Insta360 so that when the GPS information is extracted from your Garmin device, it'll match the timestamp correctly. If not, the data being shown on the screen while you're doing your activity might be out by a couple of seconds. Then on your Garmin device, choose the activity that you'd like to record. When I'm cycling, I choose cycling, but when I'm riding my motorcycle, I use the track me option. Press start and that'll start logging all your GPS data. Then at any point you can start filming, stop filming, start filming again, stop filming again. As many times as you like, as long as you've got the track me thing just going all the time. Then when you're ready, stop filming first, then stop the Garmin device and save the data. Open the Garmin Connect app on your phone and make sure that the trip has been synced. I know it sounds like a lot, but bear with me, we're halfway there. We're so close to being there. From here, open the Insta360 app on your phone and connect it to the camera you were just using. Tap on the clip you'd like to use and then navigate to stats. You now have the option to choose where you'd like to extract the GPS information from. Choose Garmin, let it do its thing and away you go. It all syncs automatically and you now have GPS overlay with the information recorded using your Garmin device. 
Just take note that the first time you do this, you'll be prompted with the login details for your Garmin account so that the apps can talk to each other. There's a whole bunch of styles you can choose from. I really like the Cyberpunk one. I think that looks really cool, sort of like Blade Runner. There is an option there to use the Apple Health to log the data. So the Apple Watch is constantly just logging your data. So it's always gonna be there if you're wearing the Apple Watch. So you can always have a little bit of something, your heart rate or your... I like the little lean angle thing. There's a little lean angle in the bottom right hand corner. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that was a thing. So that's, you know, get it down to 90. <laughs> Don't get it to 90, but you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Go log your rides, go log your adventures, your walks, your runs, your cycles. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much Insta360 for sponsoring this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Ride safe. By the way, this is the last time I'll be filming in this room. I'm gonna start packing everything up because I've got some new places to be. I can't believe it. After, literally after this, I'm packing everything down. Everything. Everything's gotta go. You'll see. You'll see.